Hey folks, I'm Nick Hawks with Gristle King, walking you through one of the basic skills of owning a helium hotspot, which is how to make custom length ethernet cables. Whether you want something super small like this guy right here, or you want something a little bit bigger, uh, longer, if you're gonna run it up through your chimney and through your roof and go from you know, inside your house to outside your house and use a giant uh, spool of ethernet cable, it is pretty darn easy to make your own custom cable. Uh, about 40, maybe 60 bucks in tools on Amazon, and you can make as many custom cables as you want and get it exactly right for whatever your uh, install is. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are with all of our tools kind of laid out. I've got my, uh, most of the work I'll do with this tool. I've got a screwdriver, set of scissors. I've got my pass-through, a uh, little termination piece here, your pass-through connector. I've got my boot. And then over here, kind of off screen, I've got a long length of cable. Drag that into the screen for a second so you can see it. But that's what we are going to be working with today. So I'll work with a little bit of, or I'll get a little bit extra out of that. And what we're gonna do is inside of this cable are four sets of two pairs of twisted cable. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make it so using our cool little tool. And you can certainly find cheaper versions of this yellow tool that I've got in my hand. Um, I just like nice stuff. Like I said, you can find cheaper stuff. So the first thing you do is uh, strip off the outside sheath and then you can see there's a little string and some plastic and uh, paper. We're gonna pull all of that back. You can use that for different, different methods of doing this, but I like uh, things to be super clean and easy and simple. And so I'm not messing with any of the rest of it. I'm gonna peel all of that stuff back and I'll cut it off as close as I can to the end. So what will be left when we're done cutting this, oh, there goes my little roll. Get back there, you. Cool, uh, what we're done, or what we're left with is four of these twisted pairs. So the pairs are in general blue, green, orange, and brown. And each twisted pair has a kind of a, a, a white version and the, um, the colored version. So the way to separate these things out is I just split them out with my fingernail at first, and then you take that piece of casing you'd run off and you put it on the end and twist it. And that makes it pretty easy to do to get all these twisted out. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna separate all these out. We're going to straighten up the wires so they're not super um, kinky curly. And then we are going to put them in order. And that order is going to be orange, white, orange, I think green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. Uh, you can look that up. It's in fact, it's on the side of this thing right here. So you can see a couple of these, uh, these orders here. In this case, let's see if I get this nice and close. Whoops, probably put it around. However way you go, we're gonna go with this uh, T568B. Um, and I say it backwards, it doesn't really matter. I'm sure someone will be upset about this. It doesn't really matter what order you do it in as long as um, the order is the same on both ends of the cable because it's basically saying, hey, at the far end of the cable, whatever plugs into that orange, white, orange uh, there should plug it into it here. But just follow the order, pretty straightforward. So the next thing you do is to straighten all these out. So I just go through and do a quick kind of super rough straighten and then I'll get them in the order I want. So remember it was orange, white. So there's my orange, white, orange, white, orange. And then I think it's green, white, blue. And this can be a little bit funky just to, um, to get sorted out. Green, white, blue, and then blue, white, green, brown, white, and brown. So there they are. These cables, when you get the nice stuff, um, which is what this stuff is, this is True Cable. You can get it off true, truecable.com or you can just go to Amazon. Um, either one is fine. You can always buy direct from them, but usually I just get stuff from Amazon because it's easy. So now I've got stuff almost in order. And what I did forget that um, anyone will tell you is like, oh, that guy forgot to put the boot on. Luckily, you can just put the boot on at the end. I haven't uh, fiddled with all this stuff so much that it's not a huge deal. All right, so now my boot's on. So relax there, network professionals. All right, so orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. That's what we've got. Let me see if I can get those up here so you can see those colors. And now the, the game is just to straighten them out and to make sure that they stay nice and straight. So you can do those one at a time if you want. So there's my orange, white, and there's my orange, and then green, white, blue. And you'll find that um, once you kind of get into making cables is 
you'll see that a lot of the cables that you buy where they're pre-made are just the absolute cheapest components possible. And when you get to this step, these wires are all squirrely and they're not stiff and they're not made out of nice wire. They're just like super floppy and a giant pain in the butt. So if you're only gonna do one or two, um, it's not a big deal. But if you're making a bunch of cables, you're running a bunch of different outdoor miners or setups or you're whatever, running a bunch of different installs, it's worth it to get the, the nice stuff. So here we are pretty much in order. So orange, white, orange, green, white, blue blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. Now I'll get those things pretty nice and tight. Let me see if I can hold these guys up so you can see what I'm doing here. And you can see at the end, some of these guys just don't like to straighten up as much as I'd like them to. And so they're gonna get kind of stacked together and then they're gonna go through that whole screwdriver process one or two more times. Cool, orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green brown, white, and brown. And so now comes one of the cool parts is we're gonna cut these suckers off nice and straight. So we'll use this guy to do that. Um, this has got a, a couple different cutting surfaces. You can see this one right here. And now we've got these nice and pretty darn straight. Let's see if I get this sucker to focus. Come on, you cheeky bugger. Yeah, maybe not. So I've got everything over there. We go. And I've had it there for a second. Uh, yep. Super. So orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. You take your um, piece and you put it on. And just I pay attention to which side this goes up. And so that when I do it on the next one, um, this little tab right here will be up. So I don't know if you can see that tab right there on the side, but that'll be up. So I know my orange, white, orange is at the top. And then you basically just slide everything through. It comes through super easy. Push it on as tight as you can get it. Check again to make sure that you still have the correct thing. So orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. Yep, that looks pretty good to me. Sometimes I go fast and I mess things up, but I think I, think I got it this time. So now that it's on there, we're going to use our tool one more time. And we're going to shove this sucker in to the appropriate sized um, cutter. And then we're just going to cut it. That's easy. So these guys come right off if they don't come off the first time. If you're all excited like I get, just put that thing through again. And that is now crimped on there on the side. So really easy to do. And you've got a uh, terminated Ethernet cable. You can take your boot and slide the boot up and over the top of this guy. And you are done. You got yourself an Ethernet cable. So nothing super fancy. Um, it's just a nice thing to do. And then one other kind of super cool thing that is maybe not apparently obvious is that this thing, this uh, termination here, this connector is a lot bigger than the cable itself. And so what you can do is what you basically should do is you'll start off with just the end of the cable. Um, I've got one yeah, right here where you can see this end is super thin. You just drill a quarter inch hole into whatever you're gonna go into. This guy slides through, you slide it up through your wall or whatever it is, um, pops out the top, goes to up on top of your chimney and into your hot spot. And then you can terminate the cable. So you don't have to drill a much bigger hole to get this whole thing through. Um, that's it, that's all I gotta do. Super simple, enjoy. Oh, there is one more thing that you should do when you're done, is you should test using one of these little devices. And what you'll do is you'll put in one side here, the other side of the ethernet cable will go here. You'll turn it on and it'll tell you like, yep, you've got great connection. Or in this case, there's only one side plugged in, so you don't. I'll give you a, um, an example of what that looks like if we get it right. And in this case, I've just got this ultra short cable, but you can see that it's just going through and checking every little wire. And it's saying like, yep, all these wires look good. You're getting green lights on all of them. You are good to go. So yeah, now I think that's it with, uh, with Ethernet cables and making your own. Super simple. Rock and roll.